Hi there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan. We're looking at a 1997 Honda Step Wagon. This one here, a four wheel drive minivan. Kind of uh, Honda's beginning of a popular chain of minivans, the Step Wagon. Comes with a B20B engine, which is a two liter inline four cylinder. I don't know the power, I would guess it's somewhere around 130 horsepower, but kind of a torquey ish engine compared to a high revving, high horsepower engine. These are great. I love the step wagon. I love Honda minivans, hence why I bought myself a Honda minivan. And I particularly love this first generation of the step wagon. It is very simple, very honest, a little bit quirky, feels very similar to a car while driving it, which is actually really important for minivans. Sometimes they can be large and cumbersome. This one here, 97,000 kilometers. And uh, yeah, I've always loved these. We've exported a number of them. We've exported one of them to one of my buddies in Canada, and he had it for, I don't know, 10 years now, it seems. Maybe it was less than that, but feels like 10 years. Okay, so we'll just check the condition of the car, and we'll compare it to the auction inspection sheet, and then we'll ship this one over to the USA. It is now 25 years old, so it's legal to be imported to the USA. Okay. Because it is Honda, I would suspect that they are very reliable. I don't think that you'll have very many problems. This is basically like a minivan version of the Civic. Civic also had a B series engine. This one's just a little bit bigger. I think Civics were 1.6 for their B engines. 1.8 maybe? I don't know. Okay, and yes, four-wheel drive is optional on these, as with a ton of other vehicles. You can get the IS in four-wheel drive here. Of course, you can get the Impreza. You, there's another IS that you can get in four-wheel drive. The Silvia you can't get in four-wheel drive, of course. And then the Jimny only comes in four-wheel drive. Not very good selection of cars in, in the lot to show that off. But yeah, like the Vitz, the Camry, the Crown, almost every Toyota you can get in four-wheel drive is an option. Okay, so um, let's go over the auction inspection sheet here. This one's a uh, 1997 Step Wagon four-wheel drive. Auction rate 3.5, interior B, exterior C. I'd say that's pretty accurate, B and C. The exterior kind of has paint fade everywhere and a little bit of rust, and I'll show you that in a second. 97,605 kilometers means it has a lot of life left in it. Okay, it comes with power steering, power windows, airbag, airbag ABS. Okay. Report here says windshield rock chip, which is something that I don't worry about. They're usually very small. Sometimes I can't even find them. I've stopped really looking for them because they're not really a concern. Interior scratched, dirty wear, underside surface rust and light corrosion. Now it's actually pretty good on the underside, just in this back well, has uh, more surface rust than the rest of it. So I'll show you that. And while it looks worse than it is or looks fairly bright and kind of bad that's all surface stuff nothing has actually damaged the metal all you really need to do is brush all of that rust off and then seal it with the rust sealant paint there is nothing that worries me about that there is some other parts that do worry me a little bit and i'll get to that in a sec okay so wheels and door mirrors scratch very small scratches small dents and then electric folding door mirrors don't work so i didn't test them they do have covers on them i think they're aftermarket covers to make them chrome. You can see the original mirrors underneath. And they have a little bit of a bigger lip on the top, which is, I guess, a little bit nice when it rains. And uh, door visors there, very common in Japan because a lot of people smoke cigarettes. I don't think this one's been smoked in, but the interior kind of smells like the basement of someone's house from the 1980s. Like, you're going to turn on that CRT TV, play your Nintendo, and have the smell of a basement is the inside of this but there's no CRT and there's no Nintendo, just the basement smell. Um, a little bit strange, but I think it's because it hasn't been driven very much in the last little while. Like the tires here are a five-year-old 2017 tire on a, kind of an interesting gear-like wheel. Honda made some of the coolest wheels in the 80s, and I guess this is a little bit of a uh, uh, extension of that. It is just a regular minivan, but it comes with the alloy wheels instead of the steel wheels and hubcaps that you'll often see on uh, base level minivans. But yeah, the tires have 70% life on them, even though they're five years old, so it hasn't been driven very much recently. The engine oil is quite dark and a little bit low, so you're gonna need to change that right away. The coolant, it can be hard to tell the uh, level of um, damage to the coolant, the level of life that's left. Anyways, the front bumper says A2. It's actually more like A2Y2, so something missed on the auction sheet there. C1 on the sill here and on the back. It's 
corrosion, I would consider it pretty light. So I'd say that that's pretty accurate. C2 on this side, that's medium corrosion. And it is on the seal. You can't see it on the vehicle from like uh, outside of the vehicle. You have to get underneath to see it. But it does look like it needs a repair. It's right on the pinch weld. Okay, so let's do a once around of this. I, I adore the styling of these because I adore the vehicle. I think that generally speaking, it's a pretty plain styled vehicle. Those also be missing. Someone wants to go by on the bike and everyone is courteous in Japan. So she stopped and made sure that it was okay with me before she went in front of the video. Okay, back to the styling. It kind of has a uh, caravan styling of it. It actually has a, uh, I'd say a pretty long nose for a step wagon. Actually, if you take a look at the 2022 step wagon that just came out, it has a very similar profile to this with a longer nose considering it's a minivan. And I quite like it a lot. Maybe my favorite step wagon. Um, I would say maybe the generation after this I like stylistically a little bit more, but I do really like these. It's an honest to goodness, reliable, simple, transportation in Japan. Now you bring this to North America, you put some bling wheels on it and you lower it and you've got something very unique and cool plus four-wheel drive that you can run all year round without troubles. It, uh, I think those are original. You can either put them here or here. There's actually two different locations. It does say Tezo or something like that, like an aftermarket. I think it might be an aftermarket company name, but the way that they fit in exactly to the Honda unit makes them also look like the original terzo is terzo a roof rack company that you buy originally through honda i don't know that answer and i don't know what this extra pull is for it's only on one side okay back up uh, wheels are in good condition they kind of remind me a little bit of my city wheels they have a similar flat face design and if you haven't noticed already, a lot of the car is not as shiny as you would want it to be. So it looks like it needs some sort of uh, hard coating to be applied to it. Diamond coat, ceramic coat. I really don't know what they call it outside of Japan. Here they call it diamond coat, but it depends on the brand. Okay, so let's look at some of the details. These headlights, they have like a circular beam in them, so they kind of have a circle but they're kind of also not a circle. Okay, there's peeling on them because someone put a UV coating on and that UV coating is peeled. Originally, these headlights would have had no coating. You can sand this and put a new coating on. They're not that faded, but they are a little bit. Okay, the grill here has a little bit of a substance on it. It's otherwise in fine condition. The Honda logo is a little bit smaller for these minivans back in the 90s than they were or they are nowadays. These uh, yellow fog lights are quite unique. I quite like that. There are different bumpers. There's an aero package bumper with a lower front ballast. It looks sporty and neat. Kind of funny to see sporty minivans, but that's a thing here in Japan. Uh, crack. Crack in the front bumper right here and here. They only said A2. They didn't say AY2. There's like a dent here as well. Okay, kind of odd for them to miss something like that. It happens from time to time. Also, it says Raybrig. So, interesting to see the stock fog lights are Raybrig company. Okay, so scuff here. With some mild scratches there. Going down here, you basically don't have any dents. You do have a weird mild scuff there. There might be some dent in there, it's hard to say. Some discoloration from the rainwater coming down. Here, here's our C1. If you touch it, it looks like not very much damage has happened. Here a little bit more than the other side. For a 25 year old vehicle, it's a little bit more rust than average. There's also some in here, but it's also not nearly as bad as a lot of North American slash Canadian ones that you see after even 15 years. Okay, down here you also have some C1 right in here. Okay, and of course we did know that before we bid on this one. Uh, going back to the back, we have some little areas where this has scratched, the paint has scratched off. 
Here it says four wheel drive so people know that you're capable of running away if they're trying to chase you on a dirt road. You got that four wheel drive. And look, it's step wagon, but it's also step ugen. They got rid of the vowels. It's Japanese efficiency. And then over here, no rust here, but the sill down here is worse. And I don't know how dark it is or how easy it's going to be to spot this, but um, I did take pictures of it so that you can zoom right in. The pictures are in uh, 10 megapixels, which is a lot more uh, resolution than these videos, which we shoot at 1080, because 4K would just destroy us in terms of uploading and sending them out. Could you imagine downloading like 30 gigabyte it's already like one report it includes like 100 pictures five video clips it's usually around three gigabytes which is for some customers a lot to download okay very simple slots here to put things one two three plus another one down here okay very easy to get in this was honda's first flat floor then you'll notice there's no transmission hump and it's funny i say that because Front wheel drive cars don't have a transmission, but they continue to have transmission humps. Like that bump that goes there for the structure of the vehicle. But Honda made it a thing that it's full flat floor and very low floor, so easy to get in. Also, I don't know if you noticed, the engine is very, very low in the engine room, giving you a really good dynamic for driving. Very similar to a Civic. It doesn't feel very tall and uh, feels like it has a nice low center of balance while driving these. Okay. Here we are in uh, Steve's basement, just going by smell. Okay. I'm not sure what that smell is. I wouldn't call it rot, like a uh, mold. Kind of smells like furniture, like old furniture. Maybe a bit dusty. And this piece is broken. It just, it'll come out. It's supposed to click and rotate forward but it's actually broken and it doesn't do it as well as you'd want it to do so something used to be mounted there something used to be mounted here and there's some damage up there airbag for the passenger which is nice they didn't come in japan until i don't think it was mandatory until 96 97 98 99 somewhere around there for drivers i think it was like 93 i think it's later than most other countries and I think K cars, K cars like the Jimny, might be a little bit different. Only a sliding door on one side. This is one of the downsides of an older van. This used to be the only side that you get for the sliding door. Do keep in mind this is a right-hand drive, so in North America this is the side of the traffic. Um, but that might not be an issue if you have adults in the van that aren't going to run in front of traffic. This seat double folds. Honda's always good with their seats this folds down this whole thing folds forward like that which is kind of rare in a minivan a lot of the center rows are not foldable leaving you just foldable back seats this one here is flip up to the side back seats these are nice you get a lot of room in here you get this cool little thing where it's like oh look it's a shelf and some cup holders surprise you can open it up this is where you can put your controllers when you bring your Nintendo in. You know what's actually the craziest thing? We bought a car that had hardwired Nintendo 64 in it. The only time I've ever seen it, just once. Controller ports right in the side panels. Like, like right here. It's like plug in your Nintendo 64 controller here and then play on the TV. I have no idea how it worked. I couldn't find the brain unit for it, but uh, very unique and cool and yeah you turn this and this will unlock and you can see how it folds forward on there um, one thing i don't like this doesn't come up unless you push this down first so you need two hands to flip it up and then it has an adjustment which is cool because it means you can turn this into a sleeping platform by folding everything completely flat but it also means you have to Adjust that to the amount of uh, incline that you like every time that you go into the back. Okay. Yeah, it was about the early 2000s when we started getting dual sliding doors on pretty much every minivan here in Japan. 
I don't know if they make any that are only single sliding other than like high ace caravan industrial type vans. Okay, that's clean and in good condition. This is fairly clean and fairly good condition. It needs a bit of a vacuum, but that's fine. And yes, these fold completely flat. They don't slide forward and back, but when they're completely flat, they're right up against the back hatch. And then you can use that for your sleeping platform. You can also fold this whole thing up against the side and it latches onto this thing here. So then you can have a full cargo area here. Okay, so plenty of space inside. It has JDM cool styling. If you want something different, put on some cool sports wheels and lower it. it would look amazing, in my opinion. It has the roof racks on it. Yeah, cool van. Simple, but cool. That's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.